There we go. Nice. Hmm? Ah, there's the other- Oh, no! Don't shoot a gun! You gotta have the zombies come after us. Oh, my balls. Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is Gibbs Kicks, and welcome back to Dead State. In the last episode, we had a massive loot run. It was absolutely fantastic. We did every shop nearly except the laundrette. There was a couple of gangsters around. We found tasers. We were able to knock them out without getting hurt. It was absolutely amazing. And we got so much food. I mean, I don't know if we can see it here, but we have... Yes, we can actually see it here. We have 33 food. We had zero. We got some fuel, we can turn on generators now, I think. We have loads of luxury items, we have still parts that we have in total collected, 74. Now we don't have 74 left, but that's what we have. It's absolutely fantastic. So people should be um, happy with what we have. Now the fence isn't fully repaired yet, but I'm just standing here on the board and looking at this. We divided some people up now and for the rest of the day we're going to be working on different things. We're going to be trying to repair the fridge which was one of the repairs that left over and we're trying to build a well because that will give us fresh water. Now today, um, besides all the social stuff we're going to have to focus on on our community, we hopefully can get Elaine back on her feet at some point. And I think Elaine is what her name was. Um, she was uh, coming from the plane crash, she was injured and she's not having really good time. So we've seen if, she can sort, if we can sort her out to make a part of our team because it would be great to have the extra hands anyway guys i hope you're still enjoying the series and you're gonna have a good time with the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started now everybody seems to be in an okay mood now davis is content so maybe we should have a little chat with him and a little chat with joel just to make sure that content is not gonna turn into something worse i don't know how, how content fares if content means they're slowly leading towards the more negative or the positive i have no idea but we'll see and we definitely have to hope to hopefully sort of lane we only have a couple of hours left a maximum of four hours so we're gonna do that so because we already went out so we're gonna do a maximum of four hours it's 725 is a couple of hours left with the refrigerator and with the well of course they're not gonna work uh, during the night so they're gonna have another day and um, yeah so that's it the evening is done let's talk to some people and let's see how Davis is doing how can I help Okay, so we want to make sure he's okay. Um, anything that would improve your mood? I wish I could call my daughter, but more realistically, I guess I would use real coffee beans that would make monitoring the radio easier. Deodorant would be nice. Gets a bit hot in here most days. i let you know if I come across any. Okay, so deodorant and coffee. Now, I don't know if the game would automatically assign that to him if we find it or if we have to go and get it out of our shelter storage. I have actually no idea. Okay, I was just on the way to talk to Joel and she walks through the gym. She said, oh, that would be useful. So is there anything we can do, like activities maybe in the gym that raises the morale? I don't know, I have no idea. But let's talk to Joel here for a second and see if we can lighten his mood somehow. Anything that would improve your mood? Let's see. Well, to be honest, some of the stuff we've been eating is kind of bland. So I'd love a big bottle of hot sauce to put on everything or some fancy chocolates just to give to people who seems to be having a rough day. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out if there's something I have to do to give it to people. All right. So I was just reading up and um, it seems that the way we give people items is that first of all, we figure out what items they want. Like, you know, he likes to have special coffee beans, the other guy great chocolate or whatever. Then we go into our shelter storage and we click on the unique tab. And this is all the items that we potentially can give to someone. But we don't have any that they're interested in. So what we could, what we do then is we apparently put that into our inventory. And when we have an item in our inventory for a person to raise them with that we're talking to, the option in the chat will become available to give them the item. Anyway, I think for today, the day is pretty much over. So I think we should go to bed because we talk to everybody. Everybody is as good as they can get. We have loads of food. We have loads of everything in the moment. So I think it's a great start that we did. Uh, that we had go to bed yes all right shelter sum summary day two we found loads of fresh food preserved food total fresh food gain five total preserved food gain 63 so all we have to do now is get the generator working for the electricity and um of course we're gonna have to fix elaine somehow that would be absolutely amazing and alipiorex wouldn't be bad to find as the game continues a situation has come to my attention Oh, okay. Renee tells us we're getting dangerously low on medical supplies uh, for the other crash survivors. Okay, that makes sense. 
yelling to the room. What was it, Renee? I got very few antibiotics to control his fever. I'm down to torn bed sheets here. Basically, if we can't get our hands on some antibiotics, we might lose our other patient. Our other patient? There's another person that was sick? I didn't know that. What can you tell me about the unconscious survivor? Um, so we should risk our lives for someone who might die anyway. Seems like a solid course of action. Let's do it. Yeah, baby, let's do it. We need the medicine if it's not for him. Even if he dies in the process, we can still use the medicine. Joel and I discussed this a few days ago. The closest pharmacy is in Brady. It's a bit of a walk, but it's our best chance. Here, let me mark it on your map. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's actually ask, why not a clinic or a hospital? Oh, I accidentally pressed two. Brady was mostly evacuated as far as I'm aware. Um, I can't guarantee it will be empty, but like I said, it's the closest town was a pharmacy. Uh, well, let's see. Let's hope you're right. I was going to ask uh, about the hospital, but um, I uh, accidentally clicked two. Um, I'd be nice if we could. Uh, it'd be nice if you could get the supplies today, but our patient isn't critical yet. The faster we get them, the more likely it is we can revive him. Oh, and remember to stock the antibiotics. I can't distribute them if they're not in there. Well, that's fine. I put everything every evening back into our shelf, so everybody should have access to it. No problem. I'll have them by the end of the day. I'm still not used to these things walking around. Well, with this crew, I don't know. Yeah. Hell yeah, we're number one. Also, according to the radio, antibiotics can help fight of infection in case anyone gets bit. Stock up on them if you find any. From what I've seen, is a horrible way to go. We can go to Brady, where there's a pharmacy. So let's go. All right, there is random encounters. Encountered an abandoned car. Okay. Oh, so she automatically stops there, or the party automatically stops there. I'll do my best out here, Susan, believe me. So there's a couple of abandoned cars. Let's see if we can take... The... Oh, is that bandits or is that zombies? That is zombies. So it's a lot of zombies. Um, and the escape area is no... Oh, we have to go through here. We seem to be able to loot this car here. What is that? Pepper spray. Nice. It makes a person blind. That is awesome. Oh crap, I didn't even see him. Whoa, 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 what's happening? I didn't even see him come in. Alright, we're gonna start with Joel. Give him a good smack. Now, I think... I, I want to tase him, but at the same time, I just want to smack the crap out of him. Um, what does Flurry do? Flurry is up to 33 damage, but it's only one hit. Yeah, we're better off doing two hits and hopefully do more damage. There we go, 14. Only eight. Oh my. That's less than 11. How do you do eight points of damage if it's supposed to be 11 to 23? Last time I checked, eight is not within 11 to 23. I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. Okay, come on. Defend yourself, girl. You can do it. Nice. Oh, she didn't get hurt. That's beautiful. So he should be out now. Oh, not if you miss. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's see, he has cigarettes as well, which are a luxury commodity, is it? Let me see, what is actually unique is luxury commodity, so it's not. I know, I don't want to get too damaged. We're going to check the SUV, and actually, we're going to check the SUV with Susan. Excellent, we take all that, and then we're going to leave. End of story. All right, here's the map, here's the area. This is the drugstore. There's another store here. It's a bookstore. We might find something interesting there. And then we have the easy laundry. Oh, we might find hot sauce in there. Wasn't he looking for hot sauce, Joel was? Yeah, we might. We have a look. We have a look. We'll see. I mean, there could be bandits right everywhere in the way, so we don't really know. Like, first of all, I want to be walking a little bit over here to see if we can get to the car. Okay, there seems to be nobody there. Good. And also, I was going over the manual just quickly now, but while I was going to the mission, we can apparently access our other community members or allies' um, inventory if we go to the storage. You know the storage we put everything in and then we stock it? There's a, there's a drop down which I must have missed, which lets you select between the different type of characters. Like, it's the screen like this, but then it has like a drop down here somewhere apparently or over here, which lets you select between the different type of characters. Um, how's this a luxury item? I don't get it. This is under, would you just go in? This is a unique inventory, which also lists all the um, luxury items that are useful for people. Okay, let's quickly have a check behind here. 
All right, very good. Let's take that car as well. Gas, nice. Okay, so we have to go to the drugstore first. Oh, there's a motorbike here as well. That would be pretty sweet. But um, let's go over here first. Well, that's not good. We have a couple of zombies here. So let's see if we can um, come from behind. There's one zombie here. Okay, we potentially can sneak up on that one. And this door is open, actually. That's very good. Okay, let's try sneaking up on that one. Okay, let's do it. Four means I can attack once. Here. Yeah. There we go. And now we can come here with him for six. And then we have... Okay, we might as well just go here. Alright, so hopefully we won't get hurt. Now we can heal, which is good. But RNG is on our side. Very nice. I like it. Okay, let's do it. 11 points. Very good. 13 points. That's good. Let's finish that. And then we have our friend Joel here. Come on, one more hit. Nice. Love it. Okay, nothing here. Now, there's another one over there, but um, I want to see if we can sneak over here. Because the zombies over there, hopefully, we're far enough away that we can get into the shop. Let's see if we can get the car. Oh, nice. We were without the zombies getting... Oh, nice. Okay, can we get into them? Can we get into here? Oh, there's a looter. I could walk around. I can't really reach that far. But what we're going to do with her is we're going to tase him. There we go. And then we can tase him and slice him next turn. He's probably going to run off now like the other guy did. We'll see. Oh, 11 points. Dude, that is not cool. I'm going to taze. How did I miss with the taze? Really? Wow. You miss with the taser from close range. That is sick. That is sick. Yeah, of course. He doesn't miss. Yeah, okay. No, that is just sick. To miss with a taser, like, from close range. That is RNG you do not want. Okay. There we go. He's bleeding now. Okay, I don't know why you keep missing, dude. Genie, Mac, this guy is made out of... I don't know. Okay, good. Finally. Good. Now, um, well, let's just keep clobbering him until he's down. Is that it? Excellent. Okay. Whew. Now, um, can we heal? Yes. Excellent stuff. We can actually heal Joel. So let's go through the store. We have a nice soda. What else do we have? I wonder if he was alone. Is that hot sauce? Oh, that's a beer. Yeah, we definitely have to check for hot sauce in the other place, though. Okay, pharmacy shelf. Antibiotics. Nice. Finally, we got some antibiotics going here. What do we have here? More medicine. Magazine rack luxury items. Ooh, she's a looter as well. I don't know how that is going to go if we attack her. We could sneak up on her. Actually, I'm not going to attack that person. I'm, I'm just going to take whatever loot I can grab over here in the office. And I think I'm just going to skedaddle then. Excellent. Let's get the pharmacy storage. Oh, nice, Mariana. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get something in here. Is there somebody here? Oh, crap. Oh, 
that is not good. He's bleeding. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to taste the crap out of him. And can we walk past him? That is another thing I don't get. How can you not step over a body? The guy is on the ground. You should be able to step over and walk past him. That makes zero sense to me. Hopefully, we can heal him. There we go. Bandage, bandage up, Joel. Excellent. I hope the other person is not going to come running now. Oh, nice. He missed. Um, okay. Let's go for it. That was 18. Ah, balls. There we go. Very nice. And four left. How much for healing? Oh, we can actually heal. Nice. How much AP is the heal? Beautiful. That was perfect. Perfect. Oh, and he missed again. Very... Oh, very good. Nice with the iron when the RNG actually works for you for a change. There we go. Now he has to be nearly dead. There we go. Nice. Hmm? Ah, there's the other. Oh no! Don't shoot a gun. You gotta have the zombies come after us. Oh my balls. Taze. Nice. Um, finish. Now let's see if we come down here. And take care of him. Oh! Okay. I will never understand this in these games. How do you miss a person that is on the floor unconscious? Oh, nice. Good, good, good. Okay, this is terrible now because we're going to have to go two steps forward. Two steps back. Then we're gonna have to have Susan come in, smack him in the face. Oh my balls! No! No! What are you doing? How does he still have. Bo oh, look at all the zombies here. Do you know what? Yeah. We're just gonna skedaddle, I think, because the zombies are gonna come in and take care of him. So I would say, I would say we go and let the zombies take care of him. Oh, that's a very nice machete. Is that the same that I have? 8 to 20? It's only a basic AP 4. Yeah, I think it's the same. Yep, he has to fight the zombies now. We're gonna leave him to that. <laughs> so, can we loot the shelf? Okay, we already did. Very good. Let's go here. We can't get past the body. Are you kidding me? Okay. We can't step over bodies. So between missing unconscious people on the floor and not being able to step over a body, that is extremely frustrating. So I think we're just going to have to go. And we're going to have to break that door. Actually, can we lockpick it? Okay, then we're going to have to force it. Okay. Oh, he's gonna come back to life now. That is not good. Come on. I hope nobody shows up behind us. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, Susan. Nice. Ah, she got hit for 13. Not good, not good. This is a terrible round. Dead looter hits female looter for 24 points. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, and can we heal up? No, we don't have enough points. Okay. I hope the zombies are not coming in here. I think they went for the other looter. Very good. Female looter is hit for five points. Very good. I like it. Um... Oh! Now we have to heal ourselves. And then we're gonna take on the door. We escaped. And I just did a quick save and reload. Just to make sure my save is working. So um, everything is fine. We have 18 out of 20 um, healing again because some of the pills that we actually had on us um, were for the satchel. Let's see if we get some hot sauce here. Oh, balls. I don't like the looters. They, you see, zombies I can deal with, but these guys have really extreme powerful weapons and all sorts of shenanigans. So I think we're going to have to skip this dude and get your hot sauce on another day. So, yeah, let's just go. It's not worth it. Okay, seems to be nobody here. A towel. Okay, that could be good. Like, as a clean sheet or something, you know. There we go. Laundry machine. We got some laundry detergent, which is always nice for people to have some nice smelling clothes for a change. I can see that being a good mor morale booster. What is that? A small toolbox. Ooh, nice. Oh, I love it. We get some repair materials and a hammer and tools. That is sweet. I think we can bust this open. It will make a lot of noise, but... I ah, know we're just better off running around. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this map, guys. I'm gonna leave this episode here as well. So we got some medicine, but I don't want to take on. So I learned my lesson. Like these these guys fight hard. These raiders and looters are tough as balls. We need like AK-47s on them, or I don't know something hardcore. I'm not really sure, but it has to be hardcore. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.